<laughs> Oopa, Oopa, Oopa dee dee. I got a riddle and stuff for you. Oh, I can't believe you know that are words to that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what bugs me? Just, I, I, I had the first annual stuck in my head. There's no such thing as a first annual. Oh, <laughs> Say the inaugural. <laughs> You're such a stickler. I know. <laughs> Three men, 254 kilos. That was the deal. What an awesome weekend. How did you enjoy the inaugural Palmetto ADV rally? I loved it. It was awesome. Cheyenne did a great job with organizing it and, and, and publishing it, promoting it with enough time for everybody to get here. Um, and the place was great. He had facilities for us. The food was excellent. That was a highlight. That was really good. Had some giveaways, had some sponsorships and things to do. And so I hope everybody looks at it and sees this stuff and the, the video that we produced for it and come out yeah. next year. In fact, we were having so much fun at the Palmetto ADV rally that I wanted to bring out some really cool gifts for you. Yay, gifts. I like oh, gifts. Oh yeah, we Here. have a brand new sponsor, dude. Moto Photo Adventures has HSU sending us some really neat products that we wanted to review for you guys. And I'm telling you, we got some pretty neat stuff. Uh, perfect application for motorcycle adventure travel filming. So if you like our style of filming videos while we're on the road. And who doesn't? We're gonna have some neat products that could possibly help you do the same. Awesome. Have you seen these yet? I have seen the boxes. I have not seen inside What's of in them. What's in there? All right, so show me some stuff and impress me. I, I'm pretty excited about these. Okay, good. How many times oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my have you been riding around, got your GoPro on your mount on your bike, mm -hmm. and you stop to pull it off because you want to interview somebody, and you can't twist the little knob off? Every time. Oh, that drives me nuts. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it's my <laughs> second favorite color. We had an argument earlier about what my favorite color was. He said, today it should be blue. And now I know why. And it's a neon blue. So we have what? Well, we have the, um, the screws for them. The, the little adapt, um, what do you call those things? I don't know. Mounting screws. Mounting screws. GoPro thingamajuggers. Does it have a label on the outside of the box to tell us what it is? But no. the thing that you are promoting so heavily is the finger saver. Oh, I love that thing. And it's aluminum, so it's not the plastic kind that's going to become... Uh, stripped over time. The worst thing about, you know, when you're riding on dusty, dirty roads, you have to clamp down on these uh, screws really, really tightly so that you don't lose your GoPro. Well, when you do that, they're really hard to undo unless you have one of these little neat things. Oh, I like it. Isn't that cool? Now they have three different ones in here. Is, is, is it for three different, it's two look like the same size and one is a shorty, so I'm supposing that's for different grow, GoPros and different mounting positions and things like that. It allows you to put one on your selfie stick mm -hmm. and one on your mount on your bike. And they uh, also included some washers. Yep. I like it. The wrench, I think, really is Here. top notch, aluminum. Yeah. Let's throw a wrench in it. <laughs> All right, through door number two. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. This says HSU Action Camera Accessory Kits, and it probably says the same thing right there in Chinese. We have plastic, <laughs> which we all love the Ziplocs. We laugh, but Ziplocs will come in handy on the road. Absolutely. Um, you're always looking for something to keep something waterproof. All have, right, have so. Have you figured it out yet? It's more mounting brackets. More screws. They give you more of the little screws. Then they have another tool. Uh-huh. Very good. I dropped the lanyard. That's all it right. Happens, it happens to be red, which it, um, coincidentally is my third favorite color. What is your favorite color? Blue. No. <laughs> um, and that then, way you don't lose it when it's in your dark camera bag. I can dig it. Uh, the mounting brackets here mm -hmm. for there. And then this, I am suspecting, is supposed to strap to something. Either a little tiny monkey vest, <laughs> or something that you need to probably tell me where this goes. It's made out of rubber. That goes to your helmet, dude. On the top or on the on chin? The, on the chin. So it goes it's around the chin, chin bar, mount. like that. Yeah, can just you, like that. Can I wrap it? Now, this? you know, my motorcycle helmet has a mount for my GoPro that I occasionally use. Yep. And yours doesn't. That's so true. So when I was talking to them, I said, 
my buddy Jason could probably use one of the Gen mounts. Oh, there you go. It's beautiful. The cool part it yeah. is Actually, mine, mine is permanently mounted. So yeah. it's, just, it's always there and sometimes it's a little pain in the butt. And of course, I had this it upside one, down originally. It goes like this. This one uh, has two little clips to it. Mm -hmm. So you can mount it, use it when you want to use it. And when you're not using it, you can take it off and put it in your tank bag. Cool. Isn't that cool? It is cool. I think I'm going to have to mount it to a monkey though. Oh. Why don't you grab your helmet? Let me show you how this thing works. Okay. Very nice, supple rubber backing on this so you don't scratch your helmet, which is pretty cool. I love it. Yeah, so you just open your uh, visor up. Could actually do it this way if you wanted, maybe. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's gonna hit my uh, oh, your chin release. bar opener release there. Yeah, so yeah. that's not gonna work. Okay. And then, you know, it gives us a hint when they put the logo right side up, so. I, I suppose I, they have a reason. Just another uh, another proof of their brilliance that they thought of everything. Okay, so see that goes around that. Okay, cool. Anyway, so you pop that in there, and the little clips just clip on in. Like so. And then you can just tug on the straps to tighten them. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Pop that on there, yeah. put it upside down, and you've got the little extensions. Yeah. So if you want to do it a different angle. Oh, we can, can put the big extensions on there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, now we're getting into some craziness area, some Dr. Seuss-ish. Oh, uh, see? <laughs> Wait, how much physics can we get away with? <laughs> All right, now let's put just Put the 360 silly. camera on it and it won't even see this. All right, so I gotta be a little bit on the um, meh side. If it's okay. HSU so far, you've been doing good with all the other products, but with this one, I'm not crazy about this mount in general, just right off the top. Why is that? Okay, a couple of reasons. Number one, I now can't get to my air vent control. Okay. It's underneath there, and if I move it, it's going to slack it up. Mm. Secondly, it's covering the air vents. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you can't shut that all the way anymore. Yeah, but 90% of the time here in South Carolina, we ride with that vent cracked anyway. <laughs> oh, sure, but 90% of the time, South Carolina rains. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be getting up in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. That's the beauty of the little clips. You just unclip it. But then you can't record from your chin anymore. Well, what are you gonna record when it's raining anyway? The rain. <laughs> We were having a lot of rain in that. Look at how simple that is. Though. It is very simple. I will say that's very simple. And if it's if it's a way that it works for you, maybe you don't have this. Maybe you don't have it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, maybe you, don't, you 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 ride open face and you don't care if your visor's closed. Um, well, look so at it, look at it this way. It's an option. I bet you that do they have it's a an option. Too? Your options are if you want a helmet chin mount, is to mount all that yucky gluey stuff mm -hmm. and have some crazy contraption that holds your GoPro on True. there. Or you just slip this one a, on when you need it. If you have an $800 helmet, you might not want to put a 3M sticky on it. Exactly. So we have this. I think it's pretty slick. Cool. Yeah, it's not going to work in every situation, but... Um, but what I'm seeing though is they're coming up with solutions for every situation. Correct. So this is just one of the chin mount options. Mm -hmm. Possibly they have some more on the side or whatever, but yeah, yeah there's some downsides to it but it might work perfectly for somebody else. Cool stuff. I like Very it. nicely done. Yeah, man. Excellent. I still think it's a monkey fist. <laughs> Moving on Moving to Moving on. number three. And this kind of goes sort of hand in hand because we're talking about helmets. But... Mm. Whoa. Oh, extender bars. Yeah. And then again, oh look. Another My fourth favorite wrench. color. <laughs> Look, how do you, I mean, how did you know? It's like you knew me. Uh, more of the, 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 the things that I don't know what they're called. The uh -huh. screws. Little thumb, the, thumb screws. Thumb screws. Now mm -hmm. we have blue ones and black ones and red ones. Anyway, so three different sizes. Now, where do these go? These are extender bars. Yeah, they go anywhere you, you want You can attach them. them to anything and put them on the uh, end of, like, if you remember uh, riding with David, Mm -hmm. He actually had one of these on his selfie stick to make his selfie stick a little bit longer. Nice. So nice. you could put them anywhere you want. But the cool part about it is I have an attachment for my helmet. A lot of people mount them to their helmet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of a unicorn mount, if you will. Oh, well, You okay. can visualize a unicorn, right? Or the, or the Whoville. Or the Whoville. Mm. Uh, and, uh, well, but then you have to sing Christmas songs. Anyway, you mount that to the top of your helmet and it allows your 360 camera to get some really cool angles. <laughs> it's the Whoville song. It All is. right, so can you, can you attach these to each other? 
so that yes. they can make bendables and yes, you know, it's, it's yes. the it's the what do they what did they call those back in the day? It's not Legos. It was erector set. Erector set. <laughs> see, see. You're now giving, we're you're talking. giving up your age. Oh well, they can tell that by my face. <laughs> All right, so that's awesome. And again, more washers that we will or will not use. Now we might actually use these on here because they need to go between the points if we're connecting them Could together. Be. And so your hope. limitation of attaching them to each other, of course, is physics. Yes. How heavy is your camera? How far out is it? Mm -hmm. What's the wind resistance? But uh, the physics. nice thing about having three different links is you can just pick which length you want. Physics, huh? Yeah. Well, I, 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 did you know I signed up for physics in college? I didn't. I changed it like two weeks. <laughs> All right. So what's the next one? That's awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. You know what would be funny is if you put this on the chin mount. Oh, grab my helmet while you're out there. How's that? Oh, very nice. Cool. Yes, I'm quick. You wanted to put a narwhal attachment. Well, oh, yes, a narwhal. Oh, I love the narwhal <laughs> reference. That's awesome. Uh, but you know what? I was just thinking you can put these at angles so that you could actually put it out to the side and record behind you. Could, could. You could, could. put it up on top and record over you. So what's cool is I've got a GoPro mount up here on the top. Now I'll get the little foot. I don't have it with me right now, but with the little foot, I can put the stick up here. Mm -hmm. And the cool part is if you're recording with the 360 camera, it doesn't show the pole. So you right. can get a top down shot of me riding or you can have True. it facing forward or facing back. True. It's nice, nice stuff. Aluminum, beautifully designed, it's nicely good. machined. It's very, very cool. I like it. Neat. All right, next. Okay. The selfies. What did we lose in Colorado? <laughs> and and what, did, what did we say that Steve lost in the scar. The scar, yeah. yeah the Steve's fell off. So here we go. His. How long is this selfie stick? I don't know, but it's okay, a pretty so nice selfie stick. This is the phone mount part. You can open that rattly plastic. Oh, look. Red. My third favorite color is back. Okay, cool. The phone mount, obviously. More thumb screws. More thumb screws. Another wrench Another with the wrench. lanyard. Uh huh. Another uh, a little mount here, of course, that... Oh, yes, well, hold that for me, please. Because there's something Your in weapon there. Sire. There is something in there that we'll need to check out because I don't know what that is. Oh, we have a little carabiner on the end. That's kind of nifty, actually. Details like that impress me because now you can put some weight on it or you can, you know, if, when you're holding a stick like this, mm -hmm. the end will, will jiggle because mm -hmm. the exaggerated length. Mm -hmm. But if you put a little bit of weight on mm -hmm. the bottom of it, you can stabilize that pretty good. Just a little trick for you. In fact, a cheap man's tripod is to attach a string to it, step on That's it. That's right. Yeah. The other cool thing about the carabiner I mentioned to you mm -hmm. is when you have it all folded up, you can hang it from your belt. Oh. So you can just carry it around with you Very instead good. of having to always... So we're talking what? What do you think that is? Three feet? That... Three and a half feet? Four? Does it say on the top box? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's farther than my arm, which is the entire point. Exactly. They call this a selfie stick. Mm -hmm. However, I would assume that there would be more uses than that. Yes. So on our bikes, we have attachment points everywhere. So what we would need to do is just make sure that we could mount it, it somewhere, somewhere on the bike. This has got a pivot though. So I'm not sure. Oh, it does have a screw. Uh -huh. So, yep. It if has that's a quarter a, twenty screw. That we just can put like it a normal tripod. See? Very nice. You can mount it like on my bike. See? I have the little mount. You can just screw. I was it right trying to, to find it. something wrong, and it didn't happen. Not gonna happen. HSU's HSU. pretty much thought of everything. And Let the, me show you what else they've thought of. Mm. They have the little device that would attach to the end. Yep. Let me see that for a second. Yep. 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 Like that. Boom. And then you can attach this to that. Yep. Or of course you can or attach your way. GoPro. Sure. Sure. Now the other cool part is... This is the thing I was wondering about, because that's, that's something nifty. I don't know what that is. You can mount it to the body of the thing. Just clicks on like that. Has a quarter 20 screw. Yep, yep, yep. And so you can mount this down here. Oh, I get it now. You get it? I do, I Tell do. Tell everybody what that will do for well, you. Well, I'm going to say that this is either... <laughs> Two selfie shots in one, GoPro and phone. But actually what I think it is, is you can put your phone in here as the GoPro remote and you can see what the GoPro is filming exactly. from way out there. Yeah, and okay. you can use your, your phone to trigger and take pictures the remote, while you're- right. Yep, absolutely. And frame, hey. your, frame your shot. Is that okay. brilliant or what? I kind of like it. Yeah. That's actually neat. I have it upside down. There we go. Yeah. Nice. All right. Pretty neat. Way to go, think? HSU. HSU knocked it out of the park, man. They've got Not all kinds of amazing products on their website. You have to check out the HSU shop. We'll put a link for you.
Mm -hmm. And um, I'm telling you, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They have so many different products, all kinds of accessories, any kind of action camera or 360 camera accessory that you can think of, they've got it. Uh, we're really impressed so far with the quality and the uh, delivery of their products. Yeah, we get um, requests all the time to send us stuff. And I'm very happy when we get things that don't just end up in the closet. Yep. Because there are some that do, obviously. I mean, each thing that you get has a specific design for it and a use for it. And some things that we get sent just don't fit into what we're trying to do or how we film our things. So I'm happy. This is brilliant. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. I might actually end up using something like this on my handlebars, for mount my phone sure, on sure. For, for an extra phone for a GoPro remote yeah. or whatever. So and it's all modular, so you can move it back We can and do forth. whatever we want with it. Brilliant, splendid, love it. Well done. Cool, thanks HSU. We appreciate it. Check out their store, you guys. They've got some neat stuff on there, and uh, keep on riding. And if you know what HSU stands for, please put it down in the comments. And while you're there, hit the like and subscribe button, and hit the bell, and, and comment on something else as well. You wanna do that again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know what HSU stands for, a little test for you, put it down in the comments. And while you're down there, hit the like button, and the subscribe button, and the bell button, and all that kind of stuff, because we like to see you. Get out there, enjoy your ride.